my nice God. perch. Yes. Look at that fat perch. Woo! Good morning, guys. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm up in uh, on Lake Manitoba at my boss's cabin for the weekend. It's about, I'd say quarter to seven in the morning. We're gonna start a fishing day. Now the goal for today is actually I'm gonna try to fish for 24 hours straight. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, I, I, I envision myself sleeping before then, but I guess we'll see what happens. So yeah, just loading up the, the wood stove. Got a nice fire going. Uh, it's minus 18, we got a minus 28 wind chill this morning, but it's supposed to warm up to minus six. So definitely pretty excited for that uh, warmer temperatures. We've been in a pretty deep freeze here for a couple weeks. So you get some holes punched and try to get on some fish. definitely a little cold this morning so right now we're just uh, hanging out in the old shack till it warms up a bit and uh, so today me and my boss are gonna have a friendly little little competition I'm gonna get the poster board up later uh, but basically every co every category is gonna be worth a toonie and if you Americans don't know what a toonie is I'll show you our toonie google it it's pretty funny but anyways um, the categories are gonna be first fish biggest fish most fish and the most amount of species so we'll see who's gonna win at the end i think i'm gonna crush him but he thinks he's gonna crush me hey luke no problem <laughs> he's going down <laughs> so i guess we'll see what happens but uh no sun's starting to come up uh it's actually really nice outside minus the uh, the excessive wind so so it's supposed to warm up so hopefully it warms up a bit and we can punch a couple holes outside and fish outdoors well guys Super promising start. Definitely got a strike, and then I had a walleye get unpinned right at the hole. So, good start. Still no winner for first fish, but uh, I think I'm gonna be taking this one. All confidence, I guess. Smart ass. Come on. What the hell? All the ice. It's really a good for my trip now. Oh, first fish on. Biggest fish of the day so far. Little perch. So there we go, I just lost two bucks. So there you go, nice little Manitoba perch. Pretty, pretty colors. Well, got another little perch. So I'm on the board. All right guys, well we got uh, the fishing board up, so you can see here. Got Luke at one one perch, that two dollar perch, unfortunately. Team Jazzy J are sitting at two perch, one walleye, so they're leading um, the species category, and they are tied with the amount category. The old Prairie Mountain Man's at three perch. Joe, aka Too Many Names, only has one. So it's been a great day so far, and it's I think about ten o'clock in the morning. So. So I'll show you guys my little setup here. I got my first PK lure, which seems to be working pretty darn good. So whoever's not familiar with these, they got a little rattle in it. They got a little flasher spoon and they got a nice little glow eye, but she seems to be working pretty darn good. So I guess it was a good $9 spent, eh? Um, the, other, the other setup we just, we basically have in that hole, we have a plain hook on a weight over there we got a green rattle bait with a little uh, flasher spoon as well and then this one's not doing anything and I forget what we got on there so yeah that's what we're running we're in about uh, 10 feet of water and there's about three feet of ice so seems to be a pretty good little spot right now hopefully the the uh, the bite keeps going usually the bite really picks up in the evening so I'm hoping it's hammer time around six pull some nice little uh, Lake Manitoba walleyes out of here. That's a Jackie Jew. Is it? Oh yeah, but that's a Jackie Jew. Or a big walleye. Hey, just don't get in front of my leg. Oh, what a beauty. Woo! Woo! Well, that's a diff you got a different color for a walleye, eh? That's a pike. Oh, that's a, that is a jackfish? That's a Jackie Jew. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there we go. Nice little, nice little pike. Perch. Oh, beauty. Nice. Look at that, just slamming them now. 
So like even if I put my hand here, look, his, his fins went up, but mm -hmm. not touching me. Okay, give me back my minnow. Give it back. You don't get you don't get to eat today. Well, I'm all by myself again, guys, but had a pretty solid little morning. We are at three, four, five, six, nine perch, one pike, one walleye. Uh, definitely lost a couple fish at the hole, but I don't even think it's noon yet. It's just been fantastic. And now the sun's coming out, so we're going to punch some holes outside. We're also going to build ourselves a nice little live well, show you guys how to do that with the old auger. And, uh, yeah. So, so far my uh, 24 hours of fishing is going pretty darn good. Just hoping uh, nighttime I can make it through. <laughs> so, see how she goes. But, uh. Hopefully we'll uh, get on a couple, couple more. Oh. oh, lost her, lost her. Get back down there. Might still be there. Funny, some fish like the jig in right now, and some fish just like it just sitting there. We are running live minnows. Uh, I tried a salty earlier, had a fish come up. I saw it on the fish finder, but it uh, did not commit. So I went back to lives, and lives seem to be uh, hitting pretty good right now. Yeah, it's been a pretty consistent bite so far, but uh, we've had some really good uh, sh solid days of, of solid low pressure. So the fish are hungry, and I'm okay with that. So, try to get a couple more. There you go, got a nice little perch on the hyperglide. This thing's been in the water for about five minutes. Booyah! Well guys, the perch bite has been off the charts today. Me, myself, I'm up to seven perch and one pike. So, I think it's time to find a big boy. Got myself a little perchy here. Put her on a big predator egg. Uh, I didn't bring my tip up or else I'd definitely be running this on a tip up. We're going to stick this down the hole, see uh, if we can catch ourselves a big old pike or a nice big walter. Fingers crossed we get a big boy on this thing. Well, I went down to the cabin to go pick up the auger and Luke got a beauty 19 inch wally. Check that guy out guys. Hopefully the wallies are starting to come in. It's been definitely a perchful morning, but you know what? Perch are fun to catch and fun to eat. So we're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna make a live well. I'm gonna show you guys that. Definitely gonna punch a couple holes outside. It's beautiful now. Super sunny. A little bit of wind, but it's not like it's not cold. So gonna take advantage of this beautiful weather, that's for sure. Well, it's about uh, four o'clock. The bite really uh, died off about noon. I think we pulled up three little perch since then. But uh, you know, I've been doing pretty good. We'll look up at the board here. We got Luke. Luke right now, he has first fish, that little little guy right there, and he has biggest fish with this walleye, nice 19 inch walleye, so. Uh, Team Jazzy J, she's at uh, two perch, one walleye, but I think she's done for the day, so I think that's where she's gonna be sick. Same with uh, too many names here. He's uh, three, three perch on the day, he's probably gonna stop there. And then the old mountain man's just killing it. Definitely looking at quantity right now. Um, 
So yeah. So but prime time is uh I think it's coming upon us. I'm really hoping anyways. So hopefully we get a couple Walters in the shack. So one of Luke's neighbors surprised us with some wicked uh cheesy deer sausages. So we just cooked them up on the old stove and man they are delicious. I also brought some of my homemade ones, but it's definitely nice tasting somebody else's. thing up oh my god so now she's just 12 inches she's just shy of a master but look at that tank that is the biggest perch I've ever caught my god whoo sick so we're rounding the 10 hour mark here and uh, that was the first fish in quite a while but she was a beauty perch uh, so I'm gonna fish for another hour and then I'm gonna do a quick uh, supper break and then uh, we're gonna come back at her you know oh Fish o'clock has started, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. The big perch are coming in. Coming in hot. Oh yeah. This perch has two other minnows in its mouth. <laughs> There's another beauty. Also, I think it's a master. It's probably the same. Ah. Well, that's nice. Just got my first walleye out of the hole, guys. Nice little walleye. Definitely gonna keep that one. Swap pretty good. Yeah, the fishing is just starting to heat up. So yeah, nice little wally. On the old hyperglide with a live minnow. This one is actually a wish.com hyperglide, so pretty stoked. I actually caught quite a few fish with this today. Time to get back in the water. Woo, woo, woo. So, really interesting thing. I have this app called um, Fish Angler, and it showed like a fish forecast what portions of the day uh, the fish were the most active. And so far, it's been bang on. There's three times today that supposed the fish is supposed to be hammering and they've come in at every time frame. So I am stoked. Well guys, we're at uh, about the 12 hour mark right now. I'm not going to lie, I'm already getting pretty tired. But uh, got some light on the shack right now. Not sure how long that's going to last. Um, got a couple of glow jigs down in the hole. I got one sitting right on the bottom with a big, big, big minnow. Uh, I would really, really love a burbot. Um, so, so far, my tally has been, I'll show you guys. I'm at uh, some 10 perch, one pike, one walleye. So I definitely took uh, the most fish and the most species today. Luke took the biggest fish with a 19 inch wally. And he also uh, took the first fish prize. Unfortunately, my fish got unpinned at the hole. But no, it's been an honestly fantastic day. I I was so happy we got on some good perch. Um, so close to a master. But no, it's been great. Now we're just gonna keep the fire going. Keep it nice and warm. It's honestly. It's actually warmed up quite a bit the stars are out it's absolutely beautiful i'm actually gonna go take spend a little bit of time outside the shack and just look at the beauty definitely pretty happy can i have a nice chill out by myself in here 
I got a pile of fish I got to clean that we're going to bag tonight. I'm just going to do some rough, rough fillets for now and I'm going to finish off at home. That way I can just get rid of all the guts and stuff while I'm out here. Yeah, other than that, it's been a great, great day. Absolutely great day. I know most of you probably already know about this, but some of my BC friends here, this is a walleye cheek. Honestly, one of the best parts of the walleye tastes like scallops, freshwater scallops. All right, cut this thing out. There you go. Nice walleye cheek. Also cut off the wings because those are tasty. We got a big old burb. Man, she's beautiful, eh? Look at those colors. I'm gonna measure up, see what she is. Just curling. I knew, I knew. Twenty. 28, that's Dees. Just shy of a master. Well guys, it's uh, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I didn't get any more bites overnight. Uh, I just, I just had a bite on my one line. Missed it. But I officially had uh, rods in the water for 24 hours. So right on. Definitely got a bit of sleep last night. I was actually pretty comfortable minus uh, when I overloaded this. Uh, I'll show you the stove. So it's actually a uh, pretty big stove for the small space, and I uh, put a couple big pieces of wood in there, uh, you know, hoping it's gonna last me the night. And then all of a sudden, it was so hot in here because I couldn't da dampen that uh, stove properly at all because uh, there's definitely it's, the door's not sealed no damper in the in the pipe so it got freaking hot in here and i had to get i had to step out for a little bit uh but then when she settled down cracked the door open a little bit and slept with the door open it was uh, pretty comfortable actually in here so <clears throat> so now i've definitely been fishing for over 24 hours and it's been pretty fantastic. Um, so this is my haul this morning. So we've got some nice perch and uh, one little walleye. It's not not too bad for a couple hours of jigging. I'm probably only gonna fish for another hour or so. Pack up, and I think we're gonna head back to the city. Well, guys, I think the the fishing's dropped off today I uh, might pull another perch or two but so this is the final total we had uh, Luke ended up with two perch one walleye one burbot team Jazzy J two perch one walleye Joe with three perch the old mountain man here with 19 perch one pike two walleye for grand total of 25 perch four walleye one pike one burbot so Definitely been a solid, uh, I'd say we've probably all been fishing 26, 27 hours, so not a bad haul. That's at least one fish an hour. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one, all right?